if you guys remember the clapometer, the what, would, what did you call it? It was off the, the meter. Off the meter. You, when he would, I think there was one in the auction tonight. Well, you, oh really? You've updated this. Yeah, you've, man. You made some changes to this thing. Yeah. So this is the mega meter. Uh, so we have um, we've updated this because a lot of people have asked us over the years for more features to this thing, and uh, so let me just make sure it's working. Testing, testing. Okay. So. What we're going to be able to do now, I'm going to have the girls, if you would, girls. This is, this is using AI, so it not only senses the volume, but it senses the excitement of the audience. So girls, if you would please, on the count of three, clap and cheer as loud as you can. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> All right. Very good. Okay. Boys, you've got to beat that. Now, she, they went up to the yellow a little bit. All right, boys. You ready? Okay, one, two, three. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, and stop. Great, okay, almost. All right, what we're going to do is everybody combine together. Let's see what we can do. Are you ready? One, two, three. Come on. What the heck? broke my meter. This is going to be a great show, I can tell. Oh my gosh. How fun is that? Okay. Okay. Um, talk to us about that. So where did where did you get the idea of getting the LED to, make, to be on the front? Where was the, what was the thinking behind that? That's just out of the box. Wanting to really upgrade the thing to make it really visual. And a lot of, you know, people are used to seeing their stereos light up or karaoke machines light up and stuff. And it just seemed like a natural thing. And when Dennis came, I had the ability to pull it off. You know, I, I, I tried before Dennis came on board. It just sat there as an idea. But the idea, you put the idea together with the skills, and that's what we did. And Dennis absolutely engineered this thing to work exactly as I wanted it to. And you're doing it all, Dennis, talk, is it all one-handed as far as the so, smoke? And uh, you can get it. Yeah. So how you operate the actual screen it takes a little bit of time to load up. Um, so you want to turn it on before the show. Is there's just a little slider on this remote right here? You just turn it up and down, and that's how it controls. That's hold on real quick. It's gonna load. Um, there it is. So it starts off in the green, and then as you push it up, it goes to the red. And then when you max it out, is when the screen freaks out. And then there's a little tiny button on top here that launches a sound machine in the smoke coming out of the side. So you can control that any way you want, and then as it freaks out, you know, you, we put the little cubes in it, but you can put other cubes in it. Yeah, cubes add, can fall out. Add yeah. stuff to it like people have done in the and past. And I'm looking, this is charged by another USB, c it means. Yeah, it's USB-C charges USB -C. it. Yeah. So wow. just, yeah. So this, the smoke machine runs off a little tiny battery too, uh, but that is also charged by just the USB. And it just requires a little bit of the, the smoke fog juice in there? Yeah, just a little bit of fog juice, you'll have to. Push again, pretty cool. Where's the speaker? Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Um, so just a little bit of fog juice, and the fog juice lasts a long time in there. So you don't have to fill it up like every show. If you just mm. fill it up once. And it's not going to tip over in, in no. traveling or anything? No. 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 Wow. So it's, it's an incredible take build. Just that battery out so this doesn't trigger in your bag. Because that would be bad. <laughs> How is uh, TSA on this? <laughs> That's a good question. I don't know. This is hot off the press, man. So <laughs> now the challenges come, right? With invention comes challenges. <laughs> well, wow, that's great. That's great.